my name is David. I use they them pronouns and I'm a community organizer and renter organizer in Eastside St. Paul. I also am a socialist and the editor of the new On the Left Bank Socialist Lit Mag uh, coming out of St. Paul, Minnesota. After working on rent stabilization and uh, publishing the first edition of this home volume, I'm really excited to share some of it with the world. So without further ado, here are the poems of On the Left Bank. Hedonist. What do I live for? Is it the blossoms on the vine, the tart fruit on the tongue, a lover's soft and kind words, kisses in the dark, colors in the light, the lapping waves and kind sun, a table of friends, smiling faces, the light beyond the shadows. Work to live, live, laugh, love, for sure, but it gets hard. Medical debt growing like the guilt of every sick day home. An unopened mail that overflows the mind and bowl. So yes, I live for those kisses and gentle caresses. The table of smiling friends when I can. <sighs> Lazy. Don't call yourself lazy, they said. I feel lazy, though. There's so much I want to do. A world unbuilt. Grass and weeds grown long. No more money for vacation. So much work I left for Monday. No time to grieve. No time to eat or rest. Inspiration beckons only in vacuum. Lazy? Perhaps not. But how to live in a world built upside down? Dog walkers, adorable little cones, of paper as if full of fried potatoes, green and crushed and ready to be burnt. They're cute, aren't they? Snack size in their little tin, meant for a brief jaunt, on the way to steak and egg, maybe. Burn and rise, little ones. This poem's called Ancestors, a letter. Great Yaya Rosa, whose surname I bear with honor and gratitude. George and Mary, Chava and Tama, ancestors I never met. I write from 2022 in the city of St. Paul. It is a city I love and call home with love. I hope I honor your memories by living in love and integrity. I know this life I live is foreign to you to the lives you knew in Greece and Ukraine, and Duluth in the 20s and later. My mother tells me the anti-Semitism and hate were unbearable. I live in fear of pogroms now, but not the same way. My life happens at a time of great changes. America of my day has much in common with Weimar Germany, I'm afraid. My own uncle posted libelous, murderous propaganda about my beloved Muslim sisters and brothers. I know Menachem and Rosa, Chava and Tama. You know this hate and its accompanying fear and violence much more intimately than I do. I hope I never know fascism like you do, my beloved ancestors. I carry your hopes with my own. I'm free in a free land. I suppose you could have told me how Israel would turn out. They live a militarized life in fear, but not unlike you or I. I do not wish to live a life of violence. I do not wish for fear to dictate my life. But to live authentically is to be a target for the fascists of my day. My mother, your granddaughter, has asked that I do not publish an honest poem of rage and sorrow and helplessness. I wish you could help me know what to do. With love, Davy. That's all. Thanks so much, folks. Bye.